Okie dokie. Here we yeah. are. We're live. Yes. Happy Sunday, everybody. Back to another, uh, well, it's Detmer versus Detmer, but this is, we're just going to be talking today about Council of Tussle. We'll probably start next week, but we just sort of wanted to go over an uh, overview of what it is. This is not a teaching video or anything. We're still learning. We, we played this about a year ago online, but we've, it came we've in. We've read most of the rules. Yeah, we, <laughs> but we haven't played through it yet, so. Uh, uh, no, no uh, I didn't get it, but don't we, worry about we it. We did, but don't worry about it. We got in a different way. Yeah. I right. forgot to set up Authy on the new phone. Speaking of that, one of the things that we wanted to see is how the new camera worked. We A lot of things were blurry on our videos prior because we were using a webcam. It didn't look all that great. But Emily got a new phone, so we are uh, sticking it up there to hopefully get a lot cleaner. Um, AJ says picture. looks good. Good. Sound okay, by the way? Does, does everything sound all right? <laughs> no! <laughs> That's okay. I think you've got that turned off, right? Yeah, I have Do Not Disturb on. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, that's... Uh, I think that it looks a hell of a lot better. And we're, we're just trying to figure out our layout for what we're going to do um, when we go through town. So we'll, talk, we'll tussle. We'll probably play this a few times on stream, I imagine. Um, you mean a full full game two times? Well, I mean, we'll play a full, yeah, a full game a number of different times. Use different characters, yeah. use different things. So we're going to, you know, work on the background image and, and everything. And I really wanted to see how the, the text display, does it look over cool? pretty small over there. If you go full screen, can you see? What are you wanting to look at? I'm wanting to see if you can read the chat. Can you read the chat clearly? Uh, AJ, is it uh, is it too small so on your screen? It is a it's, bit on the it small It is pretty side. small. That's why I wanted to adjust to see where how much room we need. Let's go ahead and do that while we're... This is just a test day anyway, so why not? Try to do a little bit of adjustment here. Maybe move over just a little bit. And then try to get the lock that down and then try to get the chat box a little bit wider here. Now I'll see if that looks a little cleaner. If we have something in chat. I'm for some reason not connecting to chat. I don't know why I'm trying to reload the page. And then I will... Technical difficulties! Here. So if you're just joining us, AJ, <laughs> we're just doing a little bit of uh, fixing up it here. Oh, it doesn't want to connect to chat for some reason. It's fun. It looks oh, like uh, it might have... Yeah, she's working, so it's okay. Um, where is my... Where is your... There, I just gotta make this a little bigger. I think that's a little bit better. Thanks, from a, Elena. From a uh, size of the window. I can't, I can only read it over here on the, on that, but I couldn't possibly read it over there. Well, no, it's itty bitty. Right, that's why I was hoping that somebody can actually read what we're, if nobody can read what's being written then we got to come up with a better situation next week yeah he can read it okay i mean can can <laughs> not old other, people read it i put on my other glasses i could read it <laughs> some reason i'm not connecting to chat i don't know what's going on with that so can you restart your i'd have to restart the whole computer can't just restart, log off of Twitch and start. Again. I refreshed the page. Oh. And it didn't do anything, so. You're dripping all over mm. yourself. I noticed that. Okay. Um, so, what else? Let's see. Let's wait for a few others to get on so we can uh, ask some questions before we get into the. Uh, what we know about Town Soap Tussle here. Do you want to talk about what we did over the weekend? What did we do? Oh, yeah, we did something over the weekend. <laughs> you forgot. It seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> One day ago? Two days yeah, ago? Yeah, it was a whole day ago. 
Um, yeah, we went and saw um, one of my favorite bands in concert, Tool, and went to where we go, uh, Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. Stayed there over the night because we're old and didn't want to drive home after the concert. It's only about two hours away, but you know we got a place within a, a block of yeah. the Yum Center. Yes. Which it's I thought. Very nice. Yeah, I was. I was still sort of surprised to see people walking around with chicken in the. <laughs> I had to point out it is the KFC. It, yeah, yeah, I, I get it. But they also had pizza and they had all kinds of other stuff. Yeah. And back when I went to, back in my day when we went to concerts, <laughs> there was pretzels, nachos, and beer. I guess hot dogs. But there wasn't, you know, like a small pizza or, uh, you know, well, you could get chicken and dinner stuff. there now. Yeah. Dinner before the con- dinner in a concert. It's a nice place. We I'm wanted sure it's to expensive. get a T-shirt, and there were some T-shirts out front. Um, I think they run about forty-five to eighty dollars, and but they only had a few different select a few shirts. So I yeah. said, "Let's pass. Let's go inside. I'm sure they're going to have a million shirts in there." Which they did. Yeah, but there was also a million people waiting in line to get those shirts. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we said, "Well, we'll get it after the concert." Well, and we I, didn't. <laughs> there was still a buttload of people down there, so we. Well, and we but, couldn't get to that floor either because all the escalators were going down. Right. We couldn't right. get back up. And, you know, the cool thing about a concert shirt is it has the dates on it, right? That's the only difference. But most of the time, you are you know, if you're wearing especially a long sleeve one, you're going to have a jacket on so nobody's going to put the concert dates on there anyway. And Eventually. There was, you know, I, I used to always get a concert shirt, but um, they're... I didn't like the design of the ones the guys out front. Uh, so the ones that are outside, I didn't care for. Yeah. So, well, f- I bet you we can find it online. I wonder if there's a place if you can go to like the official tool thing and buy a concert, or is that something they limit only to people that go to the concert to make it sort of special? Special. I don't know. Yeah, a t-shirt was like forty-five dollars was the cheapest, and then they had long sleeve shirts and hoodies that were up to eighty dollars. But that's, I mean, it's a concert shirt. Yeah, but they're expensive. I get it. Uh, so we ended up not getting a shirt, but we did have a good time. We yeah. ate dinner beforehand and then walked down there, and the opening band was all right. Yeah, um, we were okay. But the, like most opening bands, they give you, you know, they put somebody out there. The audio, the sound's not going to be all that great because it's not going through the big sound system, and you know, or it is, but it's not. You never want your opener to sound better than your headliner. <laughs> um, but anyway, they, they were all right, but. Tool was awesome. The show was awesome. The lights, the lasers, the they didn't have any pyrotechnics or anything, but they did have a big curtain that went around the whole stage, and then they projected all these images yeah. and, and stuff on it. So it was hey, really cool. Flane, aka Brett, how you hey, doing? Brett. Um, so yeah, we thanks had a for really the good sub, time. Brett. Thank you. Did that pop up? I didn't see any pop. Do we have a sub pop up thing? We should. We do. It's an alert Here. box. Does you Let's have see. the alert box on? Let's see what it does. Now, oh, it says this is a test underneath of it. Well, yeah, because I just it tested a, it. Was a test. <laughs> <laughs> this, that is, uh, that one's for you, uh, Britt. <laughs> I don't know why there wasn't an alert. Um, I did check the follows and all that prior, so I don't know. I was staying up there for a long time. Yeah, it was like 20 seconds or something. I don't know. That's one thing we always talk about, making sure we figure it out, and we never do until something like this happens. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so we did that, and what else did we do? Is that it? Well, we came <laughs> We came home. We were going to spend Saturday in Louisville walking around seeing stuff, but we didn't sleep well. My foot was hurting, so we are like, let's just, we went and got something to eat, and then we came home. Uh, I was like, I was done. Important <laughs> important thing is before the concert we went out to eat and I had shepherd's pie. You did time. have shepherd's pie. I, I may have had shepherd's pie in the past, but I don't recall. But it was really good. I would I would have a, another shepherd. I can I see what falls in seeds. Actually, sees. have made shepherd's pie for us. Not like real shepherd's pie with lamb and all that. It was it was turkey burger because that's what I use. Mm. But I have made it for us before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, hey guys, when I Marty. say names, I assume it's Marty. Yeah, it, it, it was, was an Irish, Irish pub. pub. It was called O'Shea's. Yeah, it was pretty good. And I got a Schmidt's beer, and which is one of my 
favorites. <laughs> Will Shaft try shepherd's pie next time? No, Shaft is always going to hate shepherd's pie. <laughs> um, yeah, it came in like a skillet. And yeah. it had, you know, the mashed potatoes and all the, it was really. You mean like shepherd's pie does. Yeah, it? yeah, but I mean, it was, <laughs> it was a real, it was a good. It was a good meal. Meal. Yes. Yeah. I could have had, I could have probably had it twice the, the amount, but I didn't need twice no. the amount. <laughs> I could have consumed twice the amount, which is part of my problem, right? Um, but no, it was really good. <laughs> so yeah, the concert was great. We had a good time. And uh, uh, if you're ever thinking about going to see Tools, a tool I would uh, I would do it it's a good concert I uh, love shepherd's pie or fish and chips yeah well, fish, fish and chips. chips is really good I was I just had chicken fingers because I was concerned about I have a I have a touchy stomach so I didn't want to do anything that would cause any kind of issues when we went to the concert <laughs> so I was safe and had just chicken strips yeah I drank all I drank beer before <laughs> the concert I had one in the concert but how much I, was that beer in the concert I don't know I, just, <laughs> I think it was like 10 bucks, I think. Yes, I would normally have had fish and, and chips. That's that's normally what I get and really like. But like I said, I, I didn't want to cause any issues. <laughs> Better safe and not be like fully satisfied with dinner. Than yeah, they were pushing the Reuben too. They said the Reuben was really good. But oh, where, yeah, what's the or, uh, country of origin for a Reuben? I thought that was German. I would think it's German because it has the sauerkraut. sauerkraut on it. it so, I mean, anything but, with sauerkraut is German, right? But that was like their signature no, dish. Nobody else uses sauerkraut, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's, I just, uh, yeah, $80 t-shirts and $10 beers probably. Corned beef is oh, that's true. Food, yeah. too. There you go. So maybe if we go back again uh, to one of the Irish pubs, I'll try that. Well, there's one in Crestview Hills. Yeah. yeah we We've been there. to. Yeah. But so it's good. If we have, we'll have to drive down to Louisville again just so we can go back to that place so we can try there, Reuben. Well, if there's another concert that goes down to Louisville, <laughs> we'll do it. We go to a concert at least every three Decade. years, three to four years. I mean, we were talking about that. The con last concert I went to before this was Iron Maiden, I believe, about two years ago. Yes, and you went with a friend of yours. Yeah. The last concert we went to was Breaking Benjamin. And Chevelle. In, and that's been ten years ago. Was that ten years? It's that, been well, a while. At least it was probably eight. Well, years I ago. was I was working in the office, so it's been at least seven years. It's been a while. Yeah. And then I think before that it was when I went and saw the Big Four out in California: Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, and Anthrax. I had no desire to go to that. That was a good time. I went with another friend out there, and uh, that was a uh, one to remember. Never seen so many people in all my life. But I got to be in a mosh pit at Slayer, at what well, Slayer was playing. So how do you... Now today I would just be a, a, a blockage of some kind. <laughs> you know. Back then, well, I don't know, that was in 2011. So so yeah, we don't go to concerts very much. <laughs> but this was one that you've been wanting to see for a long time. And I like Tool also, so... It's a rare it good, situation. Good getaway for a night. Yep. We need to get out more. We don't do anything. <laughs> well, yeah. we have a bunch of conventions coming up. We do. Well, what, what do we have? We're going to Gen Con. We're going to Origins. Origins. That's we're all we've booked so far. Considering Pax U. Um, Pax U, or I'd like to go out to Vancouver just to surprise Leland and go to. Uh, you can't announce it on Twitch. He's not. Street. He's not paying attention. If he is watching, <laughs> he's not paying attention. Uh, what is Shucks. it? Uh, Shucks. But you know. I think Shucks is a smaller convention too. I think it's more of a gameplay convention. More packs you kind of. I don't know, Marty. You ever been out to Shucks yet? Um, so we'll probably pick one of those. We were going. We actually were going to be going to Aircon. Mm. Um, what a week from now. Yeah. But it sort of got put on hold. There's a couple things. Our daughter was having a baby. We didn't know exactly when that was going to happen, which has happened. Um, and yeah, she's the cutest thing ever. We, uh, you know, was with traveling restrictions and all, we didn't know how that was going to be. So, unfortunately, we have to skip Aircon this year, but maybe we'll, maybe we'll hit that one up. Okay, real quick. So, um, Marty plans to Origins Gen Con for sure, Southern Fried Gaming Expo. Southern Fried, where's Southern Fried Gaming Expo? I'm going to guess it's in the South. <laughs> well, we got it narrowed down now. 
I'm going to guess southeast, if you want to be more specific. Wow, you're really narrow. Yes. Okay, you want to go with the state? Oh, oh gosh. I'm I don't know say, if I can get that specific. I, I, I'm going to guess north or south Carolina. Probably. But north Carolina. New York NYC. City. What? <laughs> <laughs> I saw NC, and then it was like the Y threw me off. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. Georgia. Okay. Yeah. Atlanta's a nice city. I used to live down in South Carolina. We go to Atlanta every once in a while. We've been to Atlanta once. Yeah, this is before Emily when I was there. D E. Oh. Video gaming board gaming expo. Oh, we might okay. be able to get Tommy to go to that then. Yeah, he'd probably. When is that? Yeah. Five to six thousand people. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not too bad of a drive. It's about seven hours for us, something like that. And I lived in Greenville, and I think it took about six hours to get there from here. So, um, yeah. They have a whole floor of arcade pinball machines for free play. Mm. Middle of July. Oh, wait, wait. Middle of July is, well, vacation. Origin is June. Yeah. August is Gen Con. So. Right, July is Tommy vacation time. Oh, no, we'll figure it out. We need to head down that way anyway. Just sort of surprise Marty someday to show up at his door. <laughs> we'll track you down, Marty. <laughs> no, he's I think we, we need to go down and do the boo, what do, what do you call it? The, what is it, Marty? The, the boo fest you guys do on the Halloween? Um, the build out the table. They're looking at build out the tabletop section. Oh, we cool. could use your help. All right. Boobie Q, that's, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, Yay! that's what we need to do. We need to head down there and that would be take a, an, an October. Because we don't have a lot usually going on at that time of year. So. My birthday. That's at the beginning of October. <laughs> Good. Well, maybe we'll maybe we'll take you up on that. Okay, okay. so today we're not actually going to play. Um, we haven't fully read through the rules yet. We, we, we've read most of them. Well, we, I've read most of them. Right. We played this about a year ago online just to test it out since we knew we had it on a Kickstarter. Um, and we knew it was sort of Kingdom Deathy, <laughs> and which yes. we've played a lot of Kingdom Death. Not in a while, but we, yeah. we have played a lot. And uh, so now we wanted to give this one a go. It's the theme being sort of the 19- It's a lighter theme. It's a, fun, it's a more fun theme. It's, well- It's not as, gru it is gruesome, but it's not as gruesome. It's a fun theme. Yeah. Um, so. It's yeah. cartoons dying, so it's-, it's... Right. So we thought today we'd just go chat a little bit and sort of show what the game is, the the character sheets, the things that you know, the board and that kind of thing. And then next week we'll actually go through and play the first um, scenario. Well, are we going to next week? Because the next the week after that we will be gone. Well, the next time we uh, get together with you, we'll. Well, I'm just saying we might play something else next week and then start when we get back. Some point in time in the future, we're going to play <laughs> Townsfolk Tussle. We will get it figured everyone. out. We'll eventually. probably go through quite a few different um, uh, characters and play some different scenarios. So you want to sort of give a sort of an overview okay. of what it is and I how the game works? I have to switch out my glasses. And uh, some point in time, I'm going to have to get progressive or whatever glasses because I'm old. I'm older than you. You is. You is very old. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna talk, talk through it. So if you have any questions, pop it up. I'm gonna watch the chat while you talk through it this time. So we have an introduction. What is Townsfolk Tussle? Oh no, say it ain't so. The sheriff of Eureka Springs has been murdered. With Lightning. No <laughs> Cartoon murder. Doesn't That's count. Right. With no one guarding its gates, ruffians are coming in droves to take advantage of the defenseless town. Is this the end for Eureka Springs? Of course not. Oh. In Townsfolk Tussle, you'll be playing as a ragtag group of townsfolk doing their civic duty to walk those troublemakers into oblivion. And who knows, one of you may prove worthy of becoming the new sheriff along the way. You'll be able to overcome the odds and defend Eureka Springs? We certainly hope so. We do. We do, we do. We hope so. So um, that's that's the, we're trying to become the sheriff, right? Because the sheriff has been killed, and yes. the over, overall, that's the, the theme. So, so it is a cooperative game, but in the end, only one person is going to be the sheriff. Right. So um, there is a map. I'll briefly show that of the area. Um, Eureka Springs is right here. Oh, she said, "Wait, what about not playing it today?" <laughs> 
Yeah, we're just going to do an overview, show kind of the rules that we do know, and go over it so that next, whenever we do start playing, we don't have to do a rules overview. Does it give a, a estimated time frame? I'm thinking Kingdom Deathy time framey, but For so play? probably two hours. Uh, the box is way over there. Yeah, yeah, two to three hours, I would assume. I don't know. Um, it doesn't say anywhere in this. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll... Well, I mean, we'll get into it. There's, there's, So the entire game is actually four rounds. And, you, and if you want to, like, it's more of a, the entire campaign is four games, if you want to think of it that way. Okay. And then each round slash game is two phases. There's a town phase where we gear up, we get, oh, just, we visit the peddler. This board here. Mm -hmm, and we, we get our gear for our characters, and we get ready, and then we go after... In the fight phase, we go after the whichever big bad is currently. Right. Then we're you going after. Turn this board over, and it goes to the fight phase, which has different rules that we'll touch on today. Yes. Okay. So then, um, why don't we just talk about uh, this? Is the main play area, and each of these things gets set up dif differently based on the uh, big bad you're fighting. And then there's some different stuff that we'll go over here. But I want to just, just okay. talk about characters first. There are seven characters in the game. I just pulled out one, Henlo Bulwark. They each have a little story that tells them about tells about them, and then their own different abilities, areas to hold gear and starting gear. Turn it up like this. So. Okay, you hold it up while I switch out my glasses again. <laughs> so yeah, you can see the different um, the, these little. There's a hair somewhere. These little uh, markers that go inside, and like the red marker will show the max for whatever that category is. So it's just a reminder to let you know what your maximum amount is. Okay, so they each have a little story. So I'll read Henlow's. I'm not going to read any of it. Uh, the other, other seven, six, seven total. Yeah. This is it. They found me. A newcomer to Eureka Springs, Henlow fled her hometown after accidentally opening her neighbor's mail. Fearing capital punishment for her heinous crime, she flew the coop, hightailing it to Eureka Springs for safety. Henlow warned the other townsfolk that she's a one at hen, but they still welcomed her with open arms. She cleared out a vacant plot of land and made a nest for herself, but fears the townsfolk may one day turn on her to collect her, presumably, giant bounty. Henlow is convinced these ruffians are bounty hunters out for her head. In order to preserve her newfound life, she decided to work with the other townsfolk to fend off the intruders. No one sending Henlow to the pokey without a fight. She is a skittish mender that's hard to keep down. So she does, so what we have here is our stats. We have health, pretty self-explanatory. Movement, uh, every movement for everything that happens, uh, fight, move, whatever, it's all orthogonal. There's no diagonal happening here. No diagonals. Um, right out. Moxie. Moxie is everything that you do. Any action that you take in this game requires Moxie. So the higher up you can get your Moxie, the better. The more stuff you can do. And then accuracy. Henlo has a negative one accuracy. So that is what you modify. But there is, um, everybody has one D10. Whenever you do anything, you roll the D10. Okay, yeah, there's that. That's going to be my only good roll for the game. I, I got an nice. eight. But then you have to modify that with your accuracy, so that would actually be a seven. Right. So this is where it's sort of the same as Kingdom Death, with the D10 with the crit on it and a few similarities on dice rolling. Then every character has special abilities. She has pinch pinch provisions for two moxie. You restore one HP to an adjacent townsfolk. So she's the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Then Headless Chicken. The first time you would be knocked out per fight, you survive with one HP and place yourself adjacent to another townsfolk. This does not count as getting knocked out. Then every character has starting gear. She has farmer's overall and a wheat sickle. I'm going to get a green screen so we can pull these cards up. Or for, I can, so I can put the cards up and you can see them easier. And then there's places where these gear go. There's left and right hand. The sickle is one-handed, so she could have another weapon, but there are weapons that are two-handed, then you wouldn't obviously be able to have another weapon. And the farmer's overalls are leg gear. They add plus one to your terrain rolls. I'm not entirely sure what that means. An additional plus one to rolls on the overgrown cornfield and Heidi haystack. I when you pass through a um, 
um, terrain area, like, your movement probably is, mm -hmm. is slowed down. Oh, okay. Right. Um, <clears throat> and then all of the terrain does matter and has things that it does also. Okay. So that's, that's sort of a brief overview of the character board yes. and items. And oh, during and then the, here, here she is. Yeah, so I did... Um, John has see, painted which, most of them. I got most of them painted. I tried to... I wanted to get everything painted up before we start playing. It's too blurry from there. Like I said, I'll take pictures of them. But you get your hand so. behind it. I know. It's so much better than it was before, isn't it, Elena? Yeah, there you go. Anyway, I'll... Hey, Dutch Yoda. How you doing? Is. Later. We're pretty... I mean, it's got a nice... Little... Yeah, they did. Uh, nice set, but this is the kind that only goes the, <laughs> the one way, right? Yeah. So, um, but I've got through most of them. I've taken my time, of course, because I enjoy the painting process. But they did, and we didn't say this is by Panic Roll, and they did do a good job of setting everything up. There's a box full of cards that has a nice insert in it with dividers for everything to go. There's money that you get so that you can buy stuff at the peddler, and it comes in its own little thingy. With extra tokens that I don't know what they're for. Um, and then, like you just saw, the minis. Uh, curious about Town of Tussle. Didn't get, didn't back it. Yeah, um, we're just <laughs> sort of going over it today. We're yeah. not going to play. We're just thought we'd get together, check out Emily's new phone, make sure the camera looks good, figure out how we want to lay out the stream um, or when we get started, and just sort of talk to everybody about an overview of the game. Like I said, we haven't played it yet through Not, yeah. physical game. We played it on the computer about a year ago, but we haven't played since we got it in. And I've read most of the rules, but not quite all of them yet. Um, we had some things going on. Yeah. But um, it's Kingdom Death Feel. Kingdom Death Light, I guess you Cartoony. could say. Cartoony. <laughs> yeah. I, I do expect it to be somewhat brutal with a character deaths and that kind of thing. Right. It'll be interesting. Yeah, well, that's the kind of games we like that we barely. rarely win. <laughs> Apparently, um, but it's, like. it's cooperative. Yet everybody has uh, a goal to try to become the sheriff at the end of the last well, round. Well, yeah, like we were saying, you play one game, one game or campaign, if you want to think of it that way, is four games. So there'll be four baddies that we'll go against with the same characters. We'll build them up over time. At, at the end of the third third time we play right. it says it right. um, somebody will become a sheriff and that person will get bonuses a, bon a bonus gear where's the um... so you have like round one you have a town phase fight phase round two town phase fight phase round three town phase fight and, and round each round you play against game. a different baddie right. and you don't know which baddie is coming out because at the beginning of the game you have these tokens and you just pick four, and you put them out here, which I can't pick up and show you. There's Chump, Hooligan, Troublemaker, and then the final fight. And you just go over in a second and tell you, well, I guess I can tell you real quick. Each baddie, depending on when they come out during the game, has a different level that they'll be. So if you pull Bort Dovis first, he will be a Chump, and he will be... A timid tourist. Nothing special about this innocent soul. Should be a cinch. But they get progressively more difficult depending on when they come out in the game. Right. So it levels it up. Each, each baddie gets its own amount of difficulty based on when it gets pulled during these four rounds. Right. So going on with that, we can tell you a little bit about yeah. Bort. Good old Bort here. He's a tourist. What are you going to say? Stay away. Welcome to... Eureka Springs, and then it's spray painted and it says stay away up in the picture. Yeah, I, I painted him. <laughs> I got a little, uh, I got the little Eureka Springs thing on his shirt. You can't see it. And there's, you know, a nice bloody, bloody uh, leg there from um, chopping that off. Put the little tiny f uh, flowers on his shirt. I enjoyed painting this guy. He was, he was sort of fun. So Bort is just your run-of-the-mill guy. He lives alone in a small cottage, works as a door-to-door -door salesman, and has no real outstanding skills or traits. 
After years of cautious spending, Fort finally has enough funds to take a vacation. He planned to tour the countryside. First stop, Eureka Springs. When Fort arrived, he fell in love with the town's culture. What unique customs they have. They're always wrestling each other, and they must really like ketchup. They're covered in it. <laughs> Fort is bliss blissfully unaware of the ruffians attacking Eureka Springs, and even worse for him, the townsfolk thinks he's one of them. Careful now, Bort. So then all the ruffians have a weakness. His weakness is vacation complete. Bort runs out of film and declares his vacation over. He thanks each town folks for their hospitality and leaves Eureka Springs forever. The fight immediately ends. No ruffian gear is rewarded, but each town folk receives an extra town event card in the next town phase. But it doesn't say, it, I don't understand that, because it doesn't say when that happens. I guess when we get through his Probably deck. Probably when you go through the deck, yeah. So each ruffian has their own deck of 15 cards, which is the AI deck, similar to KDM. So what you'll do on their turn is, ruffians always go first, you flip over the card and you read it to find out what happens. Okay. Uh, Fort takes some photos, commending the townsfolk for their beautiful town. Target all four to all town folk within four squares. This doesn't play one to five. Fort spews out nothing but kind words while barraging the targets with camera flashes. All take one damage. Move Fort towards the farthest town folk. So yeah, so it's the AI or the yeah AI, yeah, the AI deck, deck that um, if you've seen Kingdom Death, this takes care of all the monsters, and then we have on our character sheet some amount of movement that we can do and um, to attack all the different uh, items so we should maybe go over what uh, town phase is well and I just want to point out that the back of the ruffian dictates how the map is set up it tells you where all the train is tells you where everybody starts um, and then the rest of this all of this down here is the final fight so you don't read that unless you're actually doing the final fight okay Okay, now what did you want to do? So we haven't talked about the town phase, the fight phase, or the beaten order. We talked about the buy-in order. Well, no, sorry. that's the buy-in order. That... This is the buy-in order and the beaten order. This is just the ruffians that which ruffians you're going to do. So the buy-in order and the beaten order is you take your own characters. So Enlo, who we got here? I don't even know who we have. I'm just going to grab yeah, because I don't know who we have. Um, and then the ruffian. How many ruffians are there? Twelve? There are twelve different ruffians and seven characters. So the ruffian specifically goes at the top. They always go first in the fighting phase. So beaten order, fighting phase, town phase, buying order. It goes the other way, right? Right. It goes it goes this way. And then obviously the ruffian doesn't buy anything in the town phase. Right. So in the <laughs> town phase, we're going to lay out a number of cards. Um, Which are over there from the peddler. Okay. Did you need? Well, you lay those out, and then you get them in buy in order, right? You can right, and we all start with a certain amount of money that we can use, and then we would we get more money as we play the game. And then once the town phase is over, the other cards that didn't get purchased, I believe they go back into onto the, the bottom of the deck. Bottom, and then you flip this over, and that's when we go into the setup of the board because you who you're fighting, and then you have these items down here, which it, you can explain. Well, that's just the ruffian movement, which is for him. It depends on how many number of players you have. So we'll have two players, so his movement is seven. Okay. And his health is 11. Okay. Now, the um, starburst on this, do you remember? I don't what remember is? what that means. Okay. I didn't get that far. So, and yeah, there's some there's some little stuff that goes. So you, you play that out, and then there is a... Um, what is the fight phase? Real and next ruffian and town map. This is just one through what yeah. you do every time you flip over in the fight phase. Right. And then while we're fighting, we we will each have three of these. What the freak are these called uh, again? Feeds of metal. metal. Feeds of metal. And these are how we get points. How we determine who's going to be the sheriff at the end of the third round and how we potentially get money. So we'll have three, and at the beginning of each new round slash game, we will draw up to to three again. And then once they trigger during the game, if something happens that we can trigger these, then we will get a bonus. Um, we'll get points. So this says land surveyor, 
End your turn if any cor in any corner of the landscape. That sounds easy. I'm sure it won't be. But if we do that, we'll get one point. And if you achieve this, three money or two movement this fight. I mean, if you back yourself into the corner, you're going to need the two movements. Get out of the corner. Um, this one's Peacekeeper. Land the final blow on the ruffian. One point. If you achieve this, you get three money. So it's stuff like that. So you're trying to accomplish these. These are kept secret from each other. And this is how you become sheriff and get more money and other bonuses. And the last round is when somebody's deemed the Be sheriff. Before right? the last before round. Before the last round. And that way you're... Yeah, the minis are pretty cool. They're fun. Um, like John said, he had fun painting them. Yeah, I got quite a few a few of them left that I, I'm going to enjoy. Good. Yeah, it's hard to... I'm gonna. What I'll probably do is just take pictures of them, and then I can pop them up, like uh, like any old show me your mini thing that I got going on here. I'll just put. You're up gonna do a spin of each of them, or just take pictures? I'll just take nice pictures of them, um, and then we'll pop them up on the screen based on the ones that we're playing. Maybe we'll do that. Um, but yeah, they're uh, they're pretty deep. I mean, they're they're not detailed. Which is what's nice, but then you can add all the detail into it with uh, such streamers. pro streamers. <laughs> yes, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ray, you're funny. <laughs> so that's essentially an overview of the game, right? Yeah. I mean, there's there's little things here. Yeah, and there, there, that we there are little things on. like uh, what the heck that means. <laughs> but with with Kingdom Death, you have the uh, the phase where you're in the settlement the settlement phase, and that can take, you know. 45 minutes to an hour in itself going through all the things that happen and, and um, <laughs> are getting set up. The next phase is the hunt phase with Kingdom Death where you go through when you're going out to hunt the creature and you and can the, you can, you can die in that before even getting to the board. And that could take an hour itself. Yeah, and then we, you, then you then have the battle, the battle or it's Which called, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but the actual showdown. The, show, showdown. the showdown phase actually out on the board. I think what they've done here is they're just sort of skinning all that down into a town phase and a fight phase. Town phase just going, what do you want to buy, which is essentially your settlement phase, and relatively quick. And then uh, right, there's no hunt phase right into the battle. Yeah, so I expect each one of our streams will be both of those phases. We'll be able to do it in one stream. Right. So I think it'll be, it's, it's going to be a good way, because Kingdom Death is hard to stream. Not hard, it's just you have to, we we don't do we do a lot of the work off the stream I should say. Well, we do the settlement in time. I mean, we could make the settlement phase itself a stream. Right, exactly. And maybe we'll do that when the uh, when we play that again. Well, whenever. The... I, mean, I mean, we we have this. We're gonna play this for a while. We just backed Kingdom Forlorn. Yeah, so <laughs> Kingdom <laughs> Forlorn still on. I think you have today if you want to get it. It's still on Kickstarter. It looks like. Well, that's gonna be twenty. 2024 is when it comes 24 before in. it's supposed to be delivered, and then, of course, it's going to be late because it's a Kickstarter. But that, I think, is like it's like a Kingdom Death style again from a battle standpoint, but the characters have a little bit more... Thanks for um, the large bread. Uh, ...storyline to them than Kingdom... Well, Kingdom Death has storyline to your characters. You just don't get attached because they're going to die. Right. And I think with Kingdom Forlorn, they have it more where your character... It's more character building. Well, your character can die, but they yeah. come back again in the next adventure. They don't, they're not just Gone. You know, chucked out and... Written off. And on you buried. Kingdom Death is just so brutal, you lose all that, all of the stuff that you gain, and you lose... Yeah, it's very... I don't know. So, we, we got that ordered on Kickstarter, so we'll probably play that. <laughs> if, if we're still around and still alive in 2024. Um, wow, I didn't, didn't didn't realize we were going to go anywhere. Uh, you never know. I mean, I never leave the house. Be on, yeah. <laughs> um, we also got the, what this came in, the, um, Massive, Massive Darkness, Darkness 2. 2. So many boxes. Which I backed for the miniatures because <laughs> we, we have the... Uh, Massive Darkness won, and there was a ton of good minis for D&D. &D. Um, so I painted up a few of those, a few of the hundred that I got in the first one, but we've used them uh, in our D&D &D sessions. And so I thought when Massive Darkness 2 came out, I'll, I'll grab those. Then I bought a 3D printer, <laughs> and now I have no need to back There are these a lot big. of cool minis there. Yeah. 
Oh, there are, but... I think I want to try and paint the puny corn. Is that what it's called? They have, there's two little unicorns in one of the expansion boxes. Yeah, there's just so... I and mean, a hug bear. It can get so uh, over... I, I think we counted up. There's 149, 149. miniatures. Hola, Ornest. Uh, so, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of stuff that's never going to get painted. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, Ornest, how you doing? So, we're just... Wrapping up here, um, we just sort of went over the base line or the you know basic gameplay, rule yeah. gameplay of um, Townsfolk Tussle, and uh, looking forward to and tested the new camera and testing the new camera, making sure all the audio and, we're, and like I said, we're going to have to let. So now that if there's a few people on, can you read the um, chat window well? From is it too small? Do we need to? Come up with a better. I think that's more for YouTube people because I mean, when you're on Twitch, you're going to read I the chat. I guess you're going to see it over reading, on the side. Yeah, aren't you're you? not reading it here. You're well, let me here. ask another question. And does it need to even be there? Uh, I guess it's for, you, it's for, for YouTube because, like, you're bad about reading what people are saying and you just reply. So somebody, if, if anybody actually happened to watch it on YouTube later, they'd be like, "Well, what is he replying to?" Well, let me ask this: that's If I, mouth. if I, was that rude? I don't care. <laughs> Uh, where is my... Here, let me do something. Lena says keep it for YouTube. Ah, uh, Dot Yoda says, who cares about YouTube? <laughs> there we go. We have 101. Anybody else give a, any kind of a crap? And I we'll, mean, we could make the board bigger if well, we didn't have the chat. I was going to say, if I did this, say, and then we take the chat box and just move it over top of it. That's and obnoxious. Yeah, that's... And yeah, maybe we'll do some kind of a... Well, because yeah. then you can't see. The, well, you can do a darker background. But you, yeah, too. but you need to be able to see this crap. Yeah. So that I don't know. that don't work. I mean, it's either that size with chat or get rid of chat altogether. Right. I mean, one thing it's it's nice. I mean, if it's bigger like this, I mean, it's really a lot cleaner for people watching. Of course, I'd have to it have to go a little bit smaller just to be able to see the whole board. Right. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Trying to get as much real estate as possible. That's why I took us off of the, the side and put us down at the bottom. With, you know, using the green screen. To... Your, our green screen is showing. Oh, how embarrassing. Where's that? Behind John's right arm. Yeah, over here. <laughs> what? That, that tickles me. That, that one, basic rules of the game but since you're the one that played us with online I assume you remember at least some of it yeah um, that's bad we're not going to be playing today we'll play next time we just didn't want to have to do a rules explanation and play there, no, and not we wanted to test out the, the new camera and see yeah. how it was working yeah we'll make those little fine tuny adjustments anything uh, I mean is it is the board clear enough where you can tell what's going on Yes, which is the other concern that we had. <laughs> Elena says we learn the rules as you play. Yeah, we figured that's uh... for most games. Yeah, but there's a, I mean, there's there's not as much going on in this as, as KDM, but there's still a lot going on. Right. And honestly, we've had a rough weekend. We just didn't really want to, <laughs> really want to put too much effort into it. And we thought, hell, let's just talk about it. <laughs> is that smart or lazy? Lazy. Why, why not both? Yeah. Why... <laughs> Well, uh, Rodney flew to the UK, UK earlier. Someone's got to do instructional videos. <laughs> yeah. I think he probably does a 100% better job than I, we I do. I imagine what he does is he reads the rules prior to streaming. <laughs> what? I'll send, him a, I'll send him a message and ask him if he ever just... Uh, I wrote know, most of the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
When you go onto a stream, do you wing it? I mean, that's that makes it fun, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, what, that's. <laughs> it's just weird that I'm looking. <laughs> look this way. I'm looking at you. I'm looking back. Oh, at all right. So let's see. Hold on a second. Then that might be a problem. That might be a problem. Yeah. Nobody's. Uh, yeah, I think you're gonna have to flip us. Can only move me over here. Move you over here. And. Uh, here. Now it just looks like you have a real big arm. Here. Ah. Okay. Fun with green screen. How is your, is your finger right there? <laughs> now you can poke me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, one more time. One more time, I'll look up here. Dunk. You got You're going the wrong way. Oh, well, yeah, I gotta go that way. Okay. Right. All right, well, we'll work out. We'll work out those fine details over the week. So, uh, so the hilarity will be. Uh, can I? Can I somehow? There, there we go. I gotta figure out how to poke you in the head. This is what. This is what you're tuning in for, really, because you're not going to get any real good content. So, anything else you want to talk about? Dear God. Um, talk about uh, uh, encourageable party stuff. What do we got going on? This uh, We've recorded quite a few episodes, that, or a couple episodes, that are getting ready to be released. My cackle echoes. Yeah. Is it bothering the dogs? <laughs> uh, we just had the after party come out last Monday. Great after yeah, party. You yeah. want to check that out? Um, and what else is going on with the encouragers? Leland, anybody help me? Um, I can't recall. We've got uh, some. Um, you're still doing our. We're, we're patron halfway through only the patron campaign. only campaign. We're about halfway yeah. through that. And we have our three-year anniversary coming up in just a few weeks. Uh, April 1st will be our... Three years. Three years since we released our first episode. We started recording, I think, it, in January three years ago. And just released, uh, first release was in April. So, yeah. Still uh, still doing, doing well there. Um, and I think that's all I got to talk about. Yeah, nothing else? <laughs> Not really. Okay. Not yet. Anybody have any questions for us? Or we're going to just kill this thing. <laughs> this sad, sad excuse for a Sunday stream, honestly. Uh, um, do we want to show them the other ruffians and maybe give them a chance to vote on who we go against for our first full game? Is there a suggested, hey, when you get started no. kind of thing? No. All right. So. <laughs> I remember reading it. All right, so let's see. Let's just go by name first, and then and you guys can decide. So we got Deputy Wagams, which is a dog with a bunch of guns attached to him, which I believe uh, shoot um, at random and try to hurt each other, hurt, hurt people. Don't forget the rules between now and next. Oh, uh, wait. I don't forget any rules. Well, we have to <laughs> learn them all well. Uh, the next one is Will, Will Borrow. I haven't got him painted yet. That's why he didn't look familiar to me. And I don't know anything about him. We can talk about that in a second. Samuel Strawman. I'll try to get him in there a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Handsy. He's got a few, a few hands. Good. I'm not going to go any further than that. Uh, Penny Pinchetti, which is one I'm still... Yeah, it's Cuphead vibe. Yeah, Cuphead. Uh, queen and... Qu queen? Queen? Qu King and Queen, I guess. It just would be the same. Yeah, there's and no recommended start ones. Lawman Dozy. Virginia Fitz. The 
abundance. I mean, there are 12 of these guys, and we only play with four each full game. Pep and Milk Frog. And Umbrella. Pep and Milk Frog, I remember, because I did some I don't know who the before. artist was. I don't even know who the designers are on this game. It just says it's by Panic Roll, and it was a Kickstarter, so I... I mean, they have... The box. I'm going to go take a look. They have a list um, in the graveyard of just a bunch of people with quotes. And I'm going to assume that these... Two, three, four, five people... Six people? Five people. Um are Panic Roll, because they're the biggest names, but they just might be the ones that gave the most money in Kickstarter. I don't know. It's probably on the, on the Kickstarter page. We can, do that. we can have that for next week, too. Cause that's, because nowhere in the rule book does it say the designer's names. It's just it's Panic Roll. We sort of want to shove it. Look, up behind me is the book. Oh, and I also, I'm also transparent. If you go right, put the book up there again. Oh, you got, a, you got a spot in your belly. <laughs> it was only that easy to get rid of. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll look up the artist and we'll get some of that because we usually like to do that when we play the game. Is yeah. Call up people who uh, designed it and the artist and things. So, anyway, we're going to probably rant, unless somebody has one of these that they uh, really want to. It just says. Created with love by Panic Roll. <laughs> uh oh, Horner's got it. Stephen Lewis, Tony Mayer, Rachel Rusk, according to BGG. Thanks. Oh, nice. Thank you, Hornest. Okay. Yeah, well. Oh, that's we'll, the we'll artist. That down. Okay, the artist. Yeah, there. It's. I mean, it's. It's good art. I love the art. Yeah, I, and it's 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 got some bloody. You know, like Umbrello there, if you look at the end of his uh, of his cape, there's dripping blood, of course. Um, and then, like even the, the map has a bunch of fun little details in it, I mean, which I was pointing at for you to grab. When I, well, when I painted it, <laughs> I went in and put uh, resin at the end to make sure that the little blood was dripping off the end. Kind of thing. So. Oh, look at my... Oh, that was weird. Okay. Was getting caught. You're you're in my my square, but like part of you was getting cut off, so there was like a corner of you over here. <laughs> it was weird. The magic of green screen. Oh, they're designers so. too, channeling their inner Ryan Lockett, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, just hold the map so people can see it. But like, there's this, this, and then there's I can't see it now myself. Um, still can't see it. Uh, I don't know, you, you would have to see, uh, we'll take a picture of it or something. There's a fun lot, a lot of fun little details on it. Evil Woods. Eureka Springs. Look, I got an arm on one side and an arm on the other side. Ow, Jesus. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so this was the uh, non-professional stream today, and next week will still be non-professional, but will be a lot more informative. I would never. Is that I would the never, right word? They will be able to watch us play the game and then decide. With Tomothy, will probably be there to correct any. No, Tomothy's that, going to Aircon. Oh yeah, lucky bastard. We were supposed to meet up with Tomothy and get to actually meet him in person. It's not too late. No, we can't go. It is too late. Uh, I gotta get some work done, but you guys can handle the stream. <laughs> yes, yeah, thank you, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done anyway. I hope so. work's not too bad for you. All right, so let's... Uh, I hope Bill feels better soon, too. Oh, I didn't know he was feeling bad. I told you. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> she told me. Tomothy versus Matthew Jude. It might happen. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Oh, he's at work? Oh, poor guy. Hmm. That sucks. <laughs> Jude Jude. <laughs> All right. Okay. We got an hour. Yep. We're at an hour, so thanks for joining. Thanks for joining us. Um, I guess we're playing this next week. We're we'll going to start the game. Um, if you have any particular ruffian you want us to go up against, let's uh, post it in Discord or on Twitter. Give us a message. Yep. We'll see you next week. Otherwise, it'll be random. Uh, anybody we want to raid? Well, I don't. Just Twitch quick. is not working for me, so I don't know. I hate that MJ guy. <laughs> well, you don't know anybody out there we can raid. 
me uh, just because. Just because. Just because. I don't have anybody on my thingy. I don't have anybody on mine either. Doing it, so. Um, all right, I'll give you ten seconds. If you don't have anybody, I'm just gonna shut her down. Shut her down. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Taco, Taco Maniac. Um, well, good night. <laughs>